What is up today, my fellow saltfish TVians? There's a mess. I know. We need to clean this up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I said we. So are you going to come help or... Nah. Anyways, if you know this spot, this is where the 40 breeder build was at. Um, been meaning to clean this area up. I need to at least get it cleaned up by the end of next week. There's something really cool and special coming this way. And it rhymes with parade. All right, so today's gonna be super easy, super simple. We're gonna be installing inline TDS meters. So I've been using one off of Amazon. Uh, I thought it was working pretty well. It was fairly inexpensive, but recently a reefer, I posted it on my Instagram story and a reefer reached out and said they were using the exact same one that I was. And they just kept having issues with algae and they couldn't figure out why and their TDS meter was showing zero. And then they went to their friend's house and then had their water tested there with something similar to this. And it turned out they had TDS in there. It was like, think around like 24 or something like that crazy right so it had me thinking man maybe I should upgrade too so here we are we're gonna be installing this HM digital inline TDS meter it's gonna be measuring the uh, in so the water going into the filter and then you can switch it for out and it'll test the actual product coming out of the line well welcome to my laundry room I guess Stop looking at my underwear, you creep. Now this is where I have my RODI unit set up at. Uh, it's the only place that really has a threaded uh, sink attachment. And I'm in a place like Alaska where I can't just have it set up outside, hooked up you know, to the spigot because it gets pretty cold out here and it's not ideal during the winter time. Well, let's start installing this thing. So first things first, some parts that you kind of need uh something like this razor blade you're gonna want something so that you can cut the line so we can actually get it in there um, this is the tds meter i was using that i got off amazon for uh pretty cheap um yeah so we're gonna see this thing's always reading at zero uh, i mean this doesn't it doesn't hurt to double verify either so let's get this thing installed it's always good to you know read your instructions first so this kit I bought off of Amazon which I will of course link down below in the description so in case you want to pick one up yourself it comes with instruction manual some warnings it says it comes pre-calibrated from the factory but it also comes with instructions on if you want to calibrate it yourself it comes with these two T connections and that's uh, basically it besides getting the unit as well all right so biggest thing is when you're installing this like it shows in the instructions if we can get that you want to make sure that you have the probe in there correctly and you don't have it in there uh, the wrong orientation so now what we'll do we're going to install the t fittings on the in and the out what's really convenient is that they already label which one's in and which one's out all right that was fairly simple and easy you want to make sure the pins look just like that. You can see both of them. And you'll do it to both. So now what we're going to do, we're going to install the end portion first, which is where you want to connect it from your water source, from the tap, going into the filter. So I'm going to cut it right, up, right in here and then plug and play. That's where the razor blade comes in play. She's sharp. All right. So now we got an N. These are Murloc fittings, so it just goes right in, which is really nice. So now the out portion, I mean, you can always, you can always install the in portion as well uh, down where it goes into the RO filter if you want to know um, what the TDS is going 
into the RO filter after the sediment and the charcoal, but it's always nice to see what your source water is and then what's coming out. So the way I have this set up is I have it to where I have three, I have three DI units going in on this thing. So to make sure I have zero TDS. So what I will do is this is where uh, the final product comes out of is this one. So I'm going to put it right up in here. Listen to that again. So this is the out. It just pops right in. Ah. And there we have it. It's installed. Give you a closer look. There we go. I got the in from the source from the tap going straight into the sediment filter and then the out setup coming straight from the last DI all the way to the end to where the jug would be. Now, let's test it. All right, time to turn it on. So we'll hit this on button up here. It's on, it's showing zero. Let's turn the water on. So this is the in. Water going in. Then we'll wait for it to get through the filters. Oh, might help if I actually plug in the DI filter, huh? No! Here it comes. All right, so it's going through the line. So let's go ahead and swap it to the water coming out. Zero. Okay. There we go. I'm making perfect RODI water. So it's at 175 ppm TDS. Water coming out. Zero. It's always good to know. Always good to have a, a second way to monitor your water output to make sure it's actually good. Pretty cool. And then I'm gonna turn it off. Turn this water off. And there it is guys. It's all installed. It's working great. It makes me feel more comfortable that I'm making zero TDS water. It doesn't hurt to double verify, double check, all that stuff. Now I don't have to worry about filling up a glass and putting this doohickey in there. Although it wasn't really much of a pain in the butt. This is actually just a little bit more convenient. It's pretty nice. Uh, once again, if you want to get one of these, hook it up to your RODI system. Uh, the link is down below in the description. And also, this is the Aquatic Life RO Buddy that I modified a little bit. I added two charcoals and three DIs, uh, filter resins, and it works flawlessly. It's great. I love it. Uh, I'll link that one down below too if you want to look into it. Well guys, that's it. Super simple, super easy install of the Dual TDS inline meter. It's pretty handy. I like it. I hope you did too. And if you really like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Southfish TV, out.